Good afternoon and welcome. I'm Allison Park. I'm the Chief Communications Officer for Walmart. Thank you so much for being here today. First, I want to recognize what a difficult time this is for this community, yourselves, family and friends, neighbors, and our Walmart associates. I want you to know that you're on our minds and you're in our hearts. Thank you. I want to extend a special thank you to several people here today. First, thank you to the incredible team, Eugene, at Dollywood Parks and Resorts. Your commitment to this area and to East Tennessee is unwavering, and we really appreciate what you and others are doing here and the partnership. Second, I'd like to thank Matt Underwood, our store manager. We have 318 Walmart associates who live and work here in Newport and for the community at large. Matt, you and your team are helping people meet their most basic needs, and you're meeting them with a smile during a difficult time. And you make me so proud to be a Walmart associate. So thank you. I'd also like to thank the Cock County Mayor, Rob Mathis. Mayor Mathis, thank you. This is a strong community. Thank you for what you're doing to lead through this very difficult time, and thank you so much for being here today. We're here today to make a special announcement, and it's one we're very proud to make in Newport. And I'd like to welcome my new friend, Eugene Naughton, president of Dollywood Parks and Resorts, to share more. Eugene. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Eugene Naughton, and I get the great pleasure to serve as the park uh, president of the Dollywood Company. I know usually when I'm in front of you, I'm talking about something fun that's happening at Dollywood. And I want you to know we're still open and ready to serve as an escape for everything that's going on. But today, we're here to talk about our friends and our neighbors and what we can do to help them through what's certainly a very, very difficult time. In 2016, Sevier County experienced a terrible wildfire that destroyed homes and took several lives. But the fire helped our community provide and prove how resilient we can be in the face of overwhelming adversity. In a matter of days following those fires, the My People Fund was established and millions of dollars was raised and we were able to quickly provide those funds directly to the many that were impacted. Just one week ago, thousands of lives again were impacted across the East Tennessee, Western North Carolina, and points beyond. And while in Sevier County we were spared the major damage, the lessons we learned from the Smoky Mountain wildfire, those of resilience, those of determination, and those of love for others, led us to reach out to our neighbors to determine how we could help following the recent flooding. The Mountain Ways Foundation is a registered 5013C nonprofit already established in the community, and it has turned its efforts and focus on providing the immediate assistance to Hurricane Helen flood victims. And as a community, we're here today to pledge that we're going to do everything we can to support the Mountain Ways Foundation as it's on a path to impact this region in this cleanup process. And now I'm going to want to introduce a lady who I know doesn't need an introduction, 
and I'm going to welcome Dolly Parton to the stage. Well, hello, Newport. <laughs> hello, Eugene. Thank you. Well, first of all, I'll say hi to all the folks behind me, because I'll spend more time with the folks in front of me. Anyway, uh, I'm happy to, to be here, and I'm sure a lot of you wondered where I've been. Everybody saying, where's Dolly? Well, I've been like everybody else, trying to absorb everything going on, trying to figure out all the best ways to do this, because then we had that crazy old Helene, 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 you came in here and broke us all apart, Helene, 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 but we're all here to mend these broken hearts, and that's what I'm doing here, so I really, really wish that we were all together for another reason, but we all have seen the devastation. I mean, who knew in our little part of the country here, where I was born and raised, just right down the road, that we would have this kind of devastation. And I look around and I think, these are my mountains. These are my valleys. These are my rivers flowing like a stream. These are my people. These mountain-colored rainbows. These are my people, and this is my home. And I just want all of you to know that, like Eugene was saying, you remember when we had the fires? Everybody pitched in, tried to do everything that they could. And so I really think that this is a time for me to step up again, for all of us to step up and do what we can. And, of course, today I wanted to announce that from myself personally, just from my own bank account, I'm donating a million dollars today. But, but there's a lot to be done, and we're trying to find other ways to even raise more funds. But also, with our, uh, my Dollywood companies and all the people I'm involved with, with Dollywood and Eugene and all of the partners that we have with our Stampede and, of course, the Pirates Voyage and, of course, the Dollywood Foundation, and we've added another million dollars to that one million. So we're starting out with a good little hunk. And like I said, we're trying to find other new ways to make money because it's going to take a lot of money, as you know, and it's going to take a long time. There's still so much more to do. So they've uh, written a whole teleprompter up there for me to talk about, but I don't need to say a whole bunch of that stuff because I like to speak from my heart, and I just want you to know that I am totally with you because I am part of you. I love you, and I couldn't believe it coming in. I used to, when we were growing up, Newport was like the place we went to go to the dentist, the closest dentist to us over up in the holler, over in Sevier County. And of course, we'd come up here to the Bush Cannon Factory to get those dented cans you know, at a discount, and so this really feels like I'm just right at home. So I'm just happy to be here to try to help out. So I just want you to know that this is great. And of course, we got other people that are helping us out too. And actually, uh, I've been working with Walmart today, and I, I bet you're wondering why we are in the Walmart parking lot, right? So John Ferner, are you somewhere around? There you are, and he's good looking too. How are you? <laughs> we were in Arkansas this morning working on some things that we're, we're going to be doing with Walmart. And I know how helpful all of you are to try to help all these wonderful people. And everybody shops at Walmart, so you better be doing something good for us. <laughs> we are. We are. And Dolly, thank you for being here. It's, it's really an honor and a privilege that you decided to join us today. You know, Dolly is a true American legend. That's right. And not just for the music, the art, the business, but because of her heart. And Do Dolly's heart is here for these communities and people all over our great country. And with her heart is the reason she decided to make the donation and give back the way she did today. And we are very grateful for you doing that. 
They also want to recognize our associates. Allison said we have 318 Walmart associates here in Newport, Tennessee. This is store 678. And Matt, um, I'm just devastated. And this is just, just terrible to see what's happened. The storm was not at all what we expected. I've been with Walmart for 31 years. And in 31 years, I've seen a lot of things. But I can't think of anything that I've seen that's just like this. You know, many of our associates were affected. Several of our associates here in Newport lost everything. One of our associates lost his house when the river took his home away. And so what I've also seen over the last 31 years is our associates, they always step up when there's a need. And that's exactly what's happened here and it's what's gonna to continue to happen here. Now, Dolly, you talked about Walmart parking lots. Walmart parking lots have become a place of hope recently. Um, after this storm passed, we set up teams and we have in over 100 parking lots situations just like this where we have showers, food, clothing, a place to charge your phone, a place to do laundry, and we're going to continue that. We have convoys. Um, Janice over here drove this truck in behind us, and we have, we have convoys all over the southeast with drivers just like Janice. Janice, thank you. We have, we have convoys all over getting supplies to people right where they need it, and we're so proud of you and all your peers we couldn't do this without you. And then we're supported on the ground here with organiz organizations like the Salvation Army in Newport, Tennessee, Emergency Management, the Chattanooga Area Food Bank, Second Harvest of Northeast Tennessee, and the Tennessee Baptist Mission. And in cases where our associates have lost their homes, we've helped them by getting them a safe place to have shelter. We'll help them make up their lost pay. And then there's the Associates in Critical Needs Trust, which is designed to help associates recover and apply for monies they can use to rebuild their lives. Now, now two days ago, we announced a $6 million commitment from Walmart, Sam's Club, and the Walmart Foundation. That's $6 million in donations and grants. And And, and today, we're raising that commitment to $10 million. Yeah. And, and one grant will go to the East Tennessee Foundation, which is helping people recover in communities right here exactly like this one. And this, this commitment, it includes a giving campaign at our registers and on walmart.com where we'll match donations to the American Red Cross, and we've already matched $2.5 million with that effort. Now at Walmart, we help communities when they're in need, and we stick around. We'll be here, not until the media leaves, but until we recover. And that's what's going to happen here. We're going to recover. Now my, my dad was with Walmart for over 20 years, and in 1979, we moved our family to Franklin, Tennessee. And the reason we went to Franklin, that was the eastern edge of the company. We had only expanded to Nashville. So while I, was, while I was living in Franklin, I watched and got to be a part of seeing Walmart move into Appalachian, to eastern Tennessee, western North Carolina, western South Carolina, Georgia, the places that are infected. So I want you to know that this is personal for me. You know, these are our people, Dolly, as you said. These are my people. These are Walmart people. These are Walmart customers. Thank you so much. We couldn't do this without, without all of you. We're going to stay with you until we get this all back together. You can count on us. We'll be here for you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Are you going to talk now? I am going to help with some Q&A, if that's okay. Okay. That's, are you asking me questions? Uh, okay. No, we've got a couple okay. in the audience that we are going to ask questions, if that's okay. Okay, that's fine with me. Are you going to ask Eugene or me? <laughs> well, you all get to decide, I guess. Yeah, that's all right. We're actually we're proud to have the press here because the more attention we can draw to this cause, the, the better. better off it's going to be because I think we've got some of everybody out there. And I'm more than happy to answer any question you want to ask me, and I'm sure you feel the same, right? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. John, you okay. feel the same? John, you feel okay. the same? Well, let's get it started. Uh, Kyle Granger, you're joining us from uh, Knoxville WVLT-CBS. 
We'll go to you first. Hey, Dolly, you uh, talked about this being home, even though we're one county over from our home in Sevierville. So talk about how personal this is to you to be able to help the folks over here in Newport. Well, it's personal because I have a lot of my own relatives that live here. And when we uh, heard about this, it was devastating, not just because it was my family, because all these people feel like my people. We all feel related, and we are in some sort of way. So it just devastated me just to know that we had to suffer like that. You don't want to see anybody suffering, and especially me. So anything that we can do to help. But I was heartbroken like everybody else and just amazed and devastated by it. Thank you, Kyle. Uh, Deverick Turner, hi, Deverick, uh, from the New Sentinel here. We'll go to you next. Hi, Dolly. Um, you just talked about how much you love the Smokies, you love East Tennessee, and these are your people. You talk about um, growing up here in Newport. What was it like for you? What was your raw reaction when you saw the devastation here in Newport? Well, the same as it was when we heard about the fires. My first reaction, as it is with anyone, you think about your own family, because my people live here. And I wanted to know if my, my family was fine, so we started checking on that. And then when we heard uh, that most of my people were saved from any real damage, any major things, uh, then we started trying to figure out who we knew, what neighbors, and who was devastated by this, and what we could do to help them, not only just the ones we know personally, but all the people around that we can help. So that's my first reaction was, whoa, I can't believe it. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Deverick. Uh, Gianna Cousin from Good Morning America, I think you had a question for John. Hi, John. Um, I understand that this is close to home for you also. Uh, what do Americans need to know about these people and communities being hit so hard by Helene? Well, we've, we've been in this area for about 45 years, so the people in eastern Tennessee and, and all of Appalachia have been part of the Walmart family for a long time. So I've been fortunate enough to spend time here for a lot of different reasons, and, and we have so many great associates who take care of our customers and do everything they can. And the stories that we're hearing, you know, people that have done so much just in the last few days to help locate people. I've, I heard a story this morning of someone hiking up a mountain to find a coworker. Uh, it's just amazing to hear these stories. So we want to make sure that we do everything we can in the short term to get people the supplies that they need so that they can go about their regular daily life as well as possible. We also want to make sure that these parking lots all over, 100 parking lots, have a place you can come charge your phone, reach your loved ones. Uh, if you need to do laundry, do that. Just in this parking lot tomorrow, we'll be distributing food, um, just like we are at the Bristol Motor Speedway. So we need to be there until things get settled and put back together. It's going to take a while. Dolly, you said it. It's going to take a lot of effort. It's going to take a lot of money. And it's going to take a lot of hard work to put it together. But I just want to thank Matt Underwood here, our store manager, the entire team for everything they've done so far. Matt, thank you so much. And all of our stores, our truck drivers, our logistics teams all over the region who are taking care of the people who need help, we're going to stay with you and we'll do everything we can to make sure that we do our best to help you recover. Thank you. Thank you, John. Uh, last question, Ansley Daniel from WJHL Tri-Cities. Hi, Dolly. Hi. Thank you so much for being here today. Um, you have a history of stepping up when emergencies happen, like when the floods happened in Nashville, and then of course the wildfires like you just mentioned, and then of course recently with COVID. How did that help you prepare and decide what to do for this disaster that's hit you know, here and all the way up through the Tri-Cities? Well, you're never prepared for anything like any of the things that you just mentioned. You just try to step up, and uh, God has been good to me, and so has the public. And I feel like that if there's anything I can do to give back in any way I can, I'm always willing to do that. I, I want to feel like I'm doing my part, and I thank all of you for that, for making it possible for me to be able even to do this. So thank you. Yeah. Eugene, you got a question for me? <laughs> I think you're standing up here. Somebody got a question for Eugene? <laughs> no, I'm joking. Of course, Eugene and I, we laugh a lot. We we work at Dollywood all the time, and when, every time we open a new ride or open the park, we do it as a duet. And I told him I was real jealous because he got to come out here and talk without me. So, And you know why? Because she never follows the TV prompter. So I, I know. Never know where I we're didn't go. today either. But <laughs> so for, for me, it's the safest thing. <laughs> well, anyway, we appreciate you, Eugene, for all the stuff that you've done. You have really stepped up 
and you, you do an amazing job at Dollywood, and you've made sure that we've been there for all these people, and so thank you for your help. Well, we're we gonna, appreciate it. We're going to carry our heart to the people. So well, we're going to all carry our hearts to the people. Yeah, so Our hearts it, are with the people, for sure. They absolutely are. So I know I said we had one last question, but we actually have one last question, and we're going to go, Kelly Park, to you with NBC. Yes. Hi, Kathy Park with NBC oh, News and Today Show. Hi, hi Dolly. Uh, you know, it's been such a difficult and dark week for this community. What's the message that you have for these residents who lost everything, even loved ones? Well, I know it's easy for us to say, oh, things are going to get better when things are still really bad. All we can say is that we are with you, we love you, we hope that things get better real soon, and we're going to do our part to try to make that possible. We love you, and we appreciate you, and we thank you, and I think that with God's help and all the help of all these good people, we'll make it. We'll come. We'll be better than ever one of these days. Okay. Thank you. Can you all, all please join me in appreciating John, Eugene, and Dolly? Thank you. And how about it for you? You did a good job, too. Thank you. All right. Well, thanks, everybody. And I guess, are we winding it up? Yeah, I'm going to yes, wind ma'am. it up with a couple little reminders. But you all All right. Welcome. Well, I just wanted to say thanks to all of you. We're with you. We'll do our part. You do yours. And we'll be back in business soon, I hope. But sooner or later, we will. Love you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dolly. Oh, Thank yeah. you, Eugene. I'll take that. Thank you, John. We do love you, Dolly.